Hello, Swim Mackers. I know we're getting ready to go into the championship part of the season and just wanted to, first of all, say thank you for uh, the efforts you've given. Thank you for being part of Swim Mac and bringing spirit and your very special, unique personality to the team. Uh, each and every one of you makes a difference and I just want you to know we appreciate you and we appreciate uh, what you have added to uh, the program and to this year. Uh, when you're going into the meets, couple couple pieces of advice. Number one is uh, let's keep it simple. So in terms of getting ready for races, in terms of routines, in terms of uh, your preparation and warm downs, keep it to what you know. Uh, all of you have practiced racing strategies. All of you have uh, practiced being tough at the end of practice, uh, tough at the end of sets and races. Uh, do that same thing. Uh, swim with efficiency. One of the beautiful things about Swim Mac is you guys have learned fantastic technique. Use that technique, especially the first half of the race, to carry you out. And then coming home, you can use more of your might, your will, your toughness, and win those close races like we do at Swim Mac. Uh, so keeping it simple is really important. Uh, I think you can do some fine tuning, like maybe a little bit better attention to hydration and nutrition, things like that. But for the most part, stay in a good routine of, uh, of what things have been like for you and just get rested up. Uh, additional sleep uh, can help you as well. Second big thing is, is to just have yourself, your life in order. So before you get, you know, go to the meet, uh, my advice I always give to the Auburn teams back in the day was to go go clean your closet, get your room and your life organized, make sure at school academically you have things set up so that you won't be stressed as you're on the road and you can in, uh, can focus on uh, the championship meet throughout the weekend. You know the meet is a uh, three and four day meets and they are uh, they require uh, kind of that endurance day after day. And uh, the worst thing you can do is go in the first day and, and give your all and be uh, flat as a pancake the next two days or to arrive uh, just hectic and chaotic and not able to get into the meet till the second or third day. So uh, that combination of having things in order before you get there, having your equipment, your shirts, your mat gear, the gear you need for warming and down, if you use fins to warm down or snorkels, things like that, make sure your name's on it, make sure you have it with you uh, so you can uh, have all those things ready to go. Uh, also assume it's going to be a little bit cool in the pool. You want to have clothes so that you can dress extra warm and if you don't need it you don't have to have it. And then finally I think the big thing also is just having fun. Uh, have fun with your teammates, have fun with your coaches, have fun with your families and uh, keep things uh, light, keep things enjoyable. Uh, laughing is definitely something over the course of a weekend like this that will help you perform better. So there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, there's going to be pain, there's going to be uh, moments of excitement, sharing your teammates' uh, exciting times. That'll bring you in as well. Uh, give some thank yous to your parents and to your coaches before the meet so they know that, uh, that you appreciate them. And I can assure you that will get a great response and uh, will make you feel better as well. So uh, I am so, so proud. I hope to see a lot of you at the different meets. Uh, but in the meantime, just know that uh, when you put on that orange and blue and wear that swim mac, that uh, you've been uh, you've been coached extremely well. You have the opportunity to just be your best. You don't need to be anything superstar. You don't need to be way beyond your capability. Just be your personal best, execute well, and have fun.